Fishing nets, one of the most essential possessions of fishermen, are now proving to be their biggest enemy. Made with nylon, which is not biodegradable, these nets, attached to large trawlers, a relatively recent departure from the more sustainable practices of traditional fishing, are dragged along the ocean to catch everything in their path. If that same net dragging over the reef, it will stuck. And also, if you they damage the coral, they break the corals, they are damaging the coral. Sometimes it will stuck really very hard. They try to pull the net. It won't come out. So what they do? They cut the net and go away. So that net go and settle on the bottom of the reef. That net goes like 500 meters, some, go, some goes like 200 meters, some goes like a kilometer. Right? Depends on how, how far they cut the net. So what happened is because of the net, they're destroying the entire uh, marine life, the bear settled down. Ace diver Arvind SB is trying to clear the waters of Puducherry of these ghost nets, which are discarded, abandoned or lost by fishermen. Arvind is quite the local hero in Puducherry. In 2010, he stumbled upon an undersea wall with an exquisite marine ecosystem of its own during an exploratory dive 40 kilometers away from the shore. Arvind's wall, as it came to be called, was in dire need of help. When we saw that wall, the first I saw with the big net lying down on the top of the reef and like millions of fish life on inside but there's no way to escape. They have to survey inside somehow. Right? Few, few fishes were dead, few corals were lying down, that also were about to die. So when, that's the, when I found the wall, that is the first scene I saw with the big, big, really big fishing net. So it will take like eight days to clean that big ghost net. Right? Many fish died, many fish, many corals and many soft corals, everything was destroyed for because of the net. Arvind and his team of divers today remove large quantities of ghost nets from the ocean bed every time they go diving. Ghost nets account for a 10% reduction in fishing catch. Even then, local fishermen have needed a lot of convincing to change how they do their business. When we start diving in that area, all the fishermen of this village they said, no, don't dive, all because of you guys, because of divers, right? All the fish is running away. We try to explain, we waited for like one, one and a half years to interact with the fishermen, how the divers are helping to grow the fish life. So they slowly became, we hired the captains. We hired the boat captain, our, my own boat captain from the same village, right? Then I take him diving. I took him diving. My, my captains hired three captains, they are uh, rescue divers now. So they went diving, they looked, they never believed, they never saw this much fish live. They're happy. They try to save the fish. Still, the business is fishing, right? We can't tell them to, okay, don't use this net. Don't use that net. Don't do line fishing. We can't say that. We need to educate them. So if we educate them, then they will understand, oh, we can't use this net because if we use this net, it will damage this reef. This reef will damage because of this we won't get any fish. In future all the fish will go away, we, there's, there's, we can't get any money through the fish life. So that's the right way to uh, project them.
One such fisherman who was enamoured by Arvind's work, however, is this Appan. Coming from a family that has known traditional fishing as the only way of life, Desa, as he is called, is reluctantly but resolutely moving away from old practices. Fishing down upon a bullam, me, Pishime, Adima, Pishime, Kadala, Adima, Polam, Peripere, Tal Porter, the Surkal Portla, Persevasa, Adima, Aide, Amu Polam Pushin Borang, if a young like Paisanang, Mumbai, Lavan Paisa, Adia Purlang. Desa trained as a scuba diver and now works as a captain with Arvind's Temple Adventures, which conducts dives for scuba enthusiasts. Uh, Desa and fishermen like him are also helping Arvind improve the marine ecosystem along the Puducherry coast. This means carrying large rocks to the sea to fortify the artificial reefs they've built together. We started with 100 kg, 200 kg rocks before. Now we have minimum reef bases, we need the 20 tons rocks. So now we created one, two, three, four, four reefs, artificial which we created. Unbelievable fish life. Before, there's no fish life in that area. All the fishermen going for the rocky places to, rocky places like, like 15, 16 kilometers away to do the land fishing. Or uh, they need to travel like Markhanam or need to travel a little further away, not in Pondicherry. So now, everybody using the land fishing. So the fishermen are also getting a good fish life. Because of that, they're getting good business, right? And uh, the fish life in that reef, unimaginable. You, you'll never believe that. Like. Whale sharks is a frequent visitor now. Right? The, the, the big mammal is visiting there very frequently because of that reef. Right? The big gropers, which is like five to six feet big gropers, you can see like dozens. Like not one dozen, like more than three or four dozen, like more than 20, 20 30 gropers. Jackfish, paracudas, uh, lionfish, right? trigger fishes, like all kind of fish varieties you can see it in the reef. Now the government, ring, government also supporting. Arvind's Temple Adventures, which is funded mainly on the dives and training it conducts, is a prime example of going beyond one's call of duty. The main concern is individual responsibility. It's not, okay, one, wait for one organization will run the uh, cleanup day. Why do we need to wait for that? You can organize by your own. Take up like five or six people from the same village. If you're Sunday, you're playing for, you're going for a play, right? Play. Same time, spend like 20 minutes to clean some your area, right? If you take care of your own area, if everybody do that, that will save the ocean because that will avoid the ocean uh, pollution inside. That's my thought. <laughs>